Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, linear equations. And for this particular lesson, we are going to cover linear equations in uh, two unknowns. Previously, we covered the solutions of linear equations in, in one unknown. Now, we want to see how you can be able to, to, simply, or to solve for unknowns when we have two unknowns. So we have a few questions here to help us with uh, illustrations on how to solve for uh, unknowns when we have two unknowns. And actually, we are going to discuss one of the methods that is used to solve for the unknowns when we have two called the elimination method. And uh, just a few questions just to help us with illustrations on how to use the elimination method to solve for unknowns when there are two. And at the end of the lesson, we'll have some assignment just to help you practice on what you're going to cover during this lesson. So uh, this lesson, again, we will just measure on uh, equations that are just having uh, integral coefficients, where the coefficients are just whole numbers only. Then later on, we'll look at the same a uh, method elimination method where now the coefficients are are fractional you know so we have a few examples here to help us with illustrations on that so solve for the unknowns in each of the following pair, pairs of simultaneous equations so we have the first one as a plus b equals to 7 and uh, and a minus b equals to 5 so how do you solve for A and B? When, when, when we talk about solving, we simply mean finding the values of the unknowns. So in this case, we need to find the value of A and the value of B. And uh, we are just going to use this method called the elimination method. There are a number of methods that we are going to discuss on how we can find the uh, the values of the unknowns. So you can always look out, you'll be able to see, we'll be posting more videos on, for example, elimination method when the, 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 the coefficients are fractions, you know, things like when you have a half of x minus a third of y is equals, you know, you know those ones? So we'll be looking at that possibly later on. For now, we just have uh, elimination method when we have integral coefficients. So elimination method here is used to mean that we start by, you know, now we have two. In the previous uh, slide, we had only one unknown like B. Now we have two. So we'll have to start by eliminating one of them. So what we do is that we make sure that at least the coefficients, remember the coefficients are the numbers that are written before the variable like 2 here. So you must make sure that the coefficients are the same in at least, you know, first of all, you arrange them, you mean, you know, so A, B, A, B. Okay, so starting with A, then B, starting with the term containing A, then the term containing B, then equals to the other term not containing any letter or any variable. Again, A, B, then so they have to be arranged in an organized, in a consistent manner. A, B, then that term. A, B, then this number here. Then you must make sure that in one of the, I mean, the letters, either A or B, depending on which one we're eliminating. So if you're eliminating A here, for example, first, then you must make sure that the coefficients are the same. Like in this case, the coefficients are 1, 1. Then once you tell the coefficients are the same like in that case, then you subtract these two equations. You can subtract in any order, any order, either upwards or downward. So a minus a, you realize that reduces to zero. But now, when you have uh, plus b minus minus b, so now we have plus b minus minus b. This minus and minus will change to a plus. So that will be 2b. 
and then 7 minus 7 minus 5 is 2. So we have 2b now is equals to. So you see now we have eliminated a. And that's why we call it elimination method. So then we have to continue just like we did in the previous example where you divide both sides by 2. And you have your b is equals to 1. Now when b is 1, you can now find the value of a. So you pick one of the equations, just either of them. So let me pick the first one. So a plus b is equals to 7. What I'm going to do is to substitute b for I would love to substitute b for 1. B for 1. So I substitute b for 1 and what that is is back substitution. You, 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 you pick the value of one of the variables that you have obtained and you substitute in one of the equations. We call it back substitution. So I have a plus b, but b is already 1. So 1 is equal to 7. Then 1 will move to the other side. So a is equal to 7 minus 1. And so a is equal to 6. So with this, I've gotten the values of a and the values of b. So if you want to know whether this is true, you try to substitute, you know, again, do back substitution in one of the equations. So a is 1. You see? 1 and b is, I mean, a is 6 and b is 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. Again, a is 6, b is 1. So 6 minus 1 is, is 5. So the solutions must satisfy the equations simultaneously, both of them, not just one of them. You see? So I want to do case 2 here, where now I wanted to eliminate b. So a plus b is equals to 7, and a minus b is equals to. So again, if you look at the coefficients here, they are both 1, but only that the signs are different. So if I want to eliminate b in this case, so if I want to eliminate b in that case, then what I will do is then I'll try to do either addition or subtraction depending on which one will eliminate B. For example, if I subtract, that's what I did and that did not eliminate B. So maybe I'll add. So if you add these ones, remember addition must be done across. So A plus A is 2A. But now if you have B plus minus plus B, See, this is already reducing to a minus. So B minus B. You see, this is zero. So B is already eliminated. So what that means is that if you realize that the absolute values of the coefficients are the same, but then the signs are different, you want to eliminate that, then basically you add them instead. So this reduces to zero. So if you add these two on the other side, you'll get 12. And so if you divide, so we have 2A is equals to? 12, and if you divide both sides by 2, you end up with a is equals to what? a is equals to 6. Then you still do back substitution. So a minus b is equals to 5. So a is 6. So 6 minus b is equals to what? 5. So 6 will move to the other side. So minus b remains. So minus b is equals to 5. Minus 6. So minus b is equals to negative 1. And you multiply both sides by negative 1, b is equals to 1. So you still get the same values as. So you don't have to eliminate a or b. Either of them can be eliminated, and that will still work. Now look at this. So when it comes to this one here now, realize that it's not very easy to eliminate. Whether you subtract or add, it will not eliminate either of them. So what I'll do, the first thing that I will do here, is first of all, make a coefficient, the coefficients of either x or y to be the same in both cases. Of course, rule number one was that we first of all arrange them, x, y, then that constant there, then x, y, then the term containing x. So it doesn't have to start with x. You can even start with y. What's most important is, they have to be consistent. Like if you start with x, then y in here, y in this, then that. 
that must be the same pattern in the second equation then now now what we have is that we will have to make now the coefficient let's say i want to eliminate x so i want to eliminate x so we'll have to make the coefficient of x to be the same here so what i'll do i'll try to multiply this by 5 and this by 3 so that will be 15 15 so that is what i do so multiply this equation by 5 and this equation by 3 now what is done to any of them must be done across so we have 15x we must do it to 4y so that we have 20y should be equal to 80 is it 80 or 90 here yes so the same thing applies down here so we have uh, 15 15x plus 18y is equals to that should be 84 84 now you can see now the values of x so what is most important is that you are multiplying the first equation by it's either multiplication or division it doesn't have to be multiplication it can also be division you do what you know what you feel that if it is done will make the coefficients to be the same so sometimes it can be addition i mean uh, division sometimes it can be multiplication so that is that so you now have to subtract to eliminate x so that will give us zero so y and the other side will get six so it means y is equals to three so you do back substitution pick one of the equations and substitute y for three so three x plus four y is equals to 18 so i pick the original equations and y is 3 so i'll substitute y for 3 or rather where there is y will write 3 4 into 3 should be equal to 18 so 3x plus 12 is equals to 18 so 3x is equals to 18 minus 12 so 3x is equals to what 6 and x is equals to, to 2. Or rather, you divide both sides by 3. So x is 2. So 2 by 3 is 6. And, uh, y, and y is 3. 3 by 4 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So that is okay. So you don't have to eliminate x. You can also eliminate y. So if I was to eliminate y, I would have multiplied the first equation by 6. See, the 6 is here, but I would multiply the first equation by 6 and the second equation by 4. So you don't have to eliminate y all the time. Sometimes you can also eliminate x, depending on which one you find easier. Now look at this. It is easier to eliminate x, but now I'll not do what I did in the previous one, previous example. I'll simply multiply this equation by 2 all through. I shall have gotten 2 there. So the first equation remains to be 2x plus 3y is equals to 600. So I just multiply this equation by 2 all through so that I have 2x plus 4y is equals to 700. See, with that, I shall have gotten 2, 2 in both cases. So now I subtract them, but we say the subtraction can be done in any order. You can subtract it upwards or downwards. So upwards will be more convenient in this case so that 4 minus 3 is y, 4y minus 3y is y, and 700 minus 600 is 100. So already I have, I have the value of y as 100. What about the value of x? Back substitution. So let me pick one of the equations. Usually it's better that you pick a question, a question that is simpler. So let me pick that. So x plus 2y is equal to 350. But y is already 100. So x plus 2 into 100. That is substituting the value of y is equal to 350. So x plus 200 is equals to what? 350. So x equals to 350 minus 200. And what do you get? 150. So we have the values of x and the values of y. So you can try and uh, substitute them there. Back substitute. So 200 because y is 100. And uh, 150, 200 plus 150 is... 150 that is 350.
So let me try and now eliminate. Uh, okay, let me basically eliminate x. I'll multiply this equation here by five, and this one by three, so that we can have fifteen in both cases. Or rather, let me try and eliminate. Uh, y now instead of x so if you have to eliminate y what you do is to multiply this by 6 and this by 4 so 3 by 6 is 18 so 18x 4 by 6 is 24y 24y is equals to now 18 by 6. So 18 by 6, 48, 8 carry 4. 1 by 6 is 6, and plus 4 is 10. So that is 1 or 8. Again, we have 4 by 5 is 20. And now 4 by 6 is 24. So you see now both of them are the same here. And uh, 28 by 4, 32 to carry 3, 8, 11. So 112. So again, as I said, you can subtract upwards. You don't have to subtract them one. This I'm subtracting because signs here are the same. Take note, and then if the signs are different, you'll have to add. So here signs are the same, so I'll have to subtract to eliminate this. So if I subtract upwards, that will be 2x equals to, if you subtract upwards, this will be, so 2x is equals to 4, meaning that x is equals to 2. Then you substitute now. So I have 5x plus 6y is equals to 28. But now x is 2. So 5 into 2 plus 6y is equals to 28. So 10 plus 6y is equals to 2. So 6y is equals to 28 minus 10. That is 10 going to the other side. And so 6y is equals to 18. You divide both sides by 6. Then you have y is equals to more or less the same values as the one you got previously when you were trying to eliminate x. So that is all for the lesson. Few questions to help you practice on what you have learned.